What's going on, guys? It's Greg here, a.k.a. NY Prepper. It is Friday, August 11th, 2023, and I have some breaking news to share with you guys. Right now it is 1 p.m. Eastern time here in the United States, and we currently have a U.S. intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance plane patrolling Cuba so let me show you what's going on over here. So this is an RC-135 rivet joint, and it took off from Offutt Air Base, which is home of Strategic Command. It's the most important base in the country. That's basically like the central nervous system of the U.S. military. And if there were ever any kind of nuclear war, uh, STRATCOM is where they would uh, manage that and if there was any kind of world war. Uh, so it's very, very important. And all of the uh, priority missions take place out of Offutt Air Base. Okay. So for them to send an RC-135 from Offutt Air Base is uh, concerning. It means that there must be something going on in Cuba that has strategic command worried enough that they would uh deploy an RC135 an ISR plane to patrol Cuba okay so uh you can see here that uh it flew kind of in this loop here near the Bahamas and then it went down along the Florida coast and uh looks like it's going around Cuba right now it's it's going around um the western edge of Cuba Okay, this is very close to the uh, Cuban shoreline. Okay, so this is very, very concerning. Uh, there could be Russian submarines there. There could be Russian naval vessels. There could be uh, missiles being put in there. I mean, who knows, guys? Um, I hope it, it's not happening that they're putting missiles on in Cuba, but it's very possible. Uh, we know that the Russians have a submarine base there. So this is very, very concerning. Uh, you know, the fact that this is happening on a Friday afternoon and that this plane took off from Offutt Air Base means that there's something going on here that is serious enough for Strategic Command to uh, deploy this plane, okay, on this mission. Uh, this is a very rare mission. You don't see this often. I follow flights every day for the past two or three years. And I've very rarely seen this type of a flight path for an RC-135. Very rarely do they fly around Cuba, uh, especially one that comes from Offutt Air Base. Okay, like I said, all the planes that are in Offutt Air Base are like national priority. So they don't just, you know, send them out for no reason, okay? Um, so this is very, very unusual and very concerning. Something could be going on here, maybe Russian subs. We also uh, had a, another doomsday plane uh, last night. This is an E-4B Night Watch, which is a U.S. presidential doomsday plane. And it went from uh, Tucson, and it looks like it went to uh, Offutt Air Base. I'm not sure exactly where it landed. But uh, that's like the third doomsday plane that uh, was in the air yesterday, uh, presidential doomsday plane. So that's very, very unusual. And then, of course, all of that happening the same day that Poland announces they're going to send 10,000 troops to the border with Belarus. OK, the Polish defense minister said that 4,000 troops are going to be immediately deployed to uh, help the Polish border guard and another 6,000 are going to remain near the border and act as reserves in case those 4,000 are not enough. Okay, but uh, lots of doomsday planes. There was also a nuke sniffer plane in the air and it was doing touch and goes in Lincoln, Nebraska at an airfield there, an airport and uh, it was also doing touch and goes at Offutt Air Base. And this is, a, again, a nuke sniffer plane. Uh, there was one in the air yesterday. There was one in the air two days ago. So something is going on. Uh, the fact that they're doing touch and goes 
uh, means that they're definitely brushing the dust off these planes and, and making sure everything is working. So uh, we also have some concerning information uh, coming from the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which is the largest nuclear power plant in Europe and one of the largest in the world. It has six nuclear reactors. The uh, Ukrainian energy company Energatom said that apparently there was some kind of a, a leakage uh, at one of the uh, reactors and, and also a steam leakage. So let me read to you what they posted on uh, Telegram here. This is the Energatom Telegram uh, channel. Due to the occupationist's criminal activity at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant unit four, an incident occurred with a primary to secondary water leak. As a result of moving power unit four of the temporarily occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant into a hot shutdown state, in breach of the license terms and Energatom requirements, an incident occurred with a primary to secondary water leak. There was no radiological release into the environment. This happened due to a violation of the integrity of the third steam generator located in the containment of the unit. Therefore, the occupying leadership started transferring the ZNPP power unit four into a hot shutdown state. At the same time, over the next three days, invaders will move unit six to hot shutdown, which is another breach of the license terms. So uh, this is crazy, guys. Things are happening at this power plant and it's not looking good. It looks like every day it's just getting closer and closer to some kind of a, a, an incident. Um, there was also a power line that was cut a few days ago on August 10th. Uh, the main power supply line was cut in the night of August the 10th. The power plant had to switch to its backup power line, its only backup power line. Um, so, you know, just a crazy situation going on over there. Um, you know, it seems like any day this, this power plant could melt down, something could happen there. Um, and here we have some excessive heat warnings in Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, uh, heat indexes well over a hundred degrees in this area. So if you live in this area, please stay indoors, stay cool. Uh, don't do any uh, outdoor activities unless it's absolutely necessary. And uh, luckily, we don't have any hurricanes to worry about at the moment. So that's good. We are in an El Nino right now. So during El Ninos, the uh, Atlantic Tropical Basin is usually shut down from hurricanes. So uh, I expect a quiet hurricane season this year uh, as far as the Atlantic Basin goes. And we have these fires going on in Hawaii, which the governor of Hawaii said that uh, are the largest natural disaster in Hawaii's history. Uh, there's already a death toll of 53. So very serious situation going on over there. Uh, but that's the latest that I have. I'm going to keep you posted on that RC-135 patrolling Cuba. Very, very concerning here. It looks like it's now rounding the uh, western edge of Cuba. Looks like it's probably going to circle all of Cuba. So something is definitely going on here. But check out my nuclear war survival videos. Check out my how to survive nuclear war series. I'll leave links in the top right corner. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.